The Tokyo 2020 Olympics is turning out to be even more expensive than originally envisaged. The organizers of the Games, which had to be postponed to next summer because of the coronavirus, say they need at least an extra $2.4 billion. Our sports news correspondent, Alex Kapstick, told me about the extra costs. Well, ever since the Games were postponed, organisers have been pushed to come up with a figure for what it was all going to cost. They've now done that, and it is a, a big amount. But if you take into account uh, the current exchange rate and $250 million, which local organisers have taken from their contingency fund, the actual figure is closer to $2.8 billion. Uh, And those costs will be shared between the organisers, national and local government. Uh, operational costs have risen because venues have had to be rebooked, uh, transport contracts re-signed, and wages have to be paid to, to what is a, a really big workforce within the organising committee. And 900 million accounts for the COVID-19 countermeasures. Those are the plans being put in place designed to keep athletes and fans safe from the pandemic. So it puts the official figure for staging the Games at more than 15 billion, although an audit taken last year estimated the true cost, that if you include all the government-related Olympic expense, is, is much, much more. And Alex, there was so much excitement in Japan about hosting these Games. How do people feel now? about all these spiralling costs? Yeah, a lot of that excitement has turned into opposition within Japan. Uh, according to polls taken in the last few months, the majority of people are actually against staging the Games next year. A lot of that is down to the fears over the spread of uh, coronavirus, but people are also concerned that the government appears to be putting a lot of effort and money into the Olympics, effectively prioritising that over uh, containing the pandemic. So it's going to be interesting to see how the public in Japan reacts to this latest announcement. And is it absolutely certain, then, that these games Games will finally go ahead. Well, the IOC, Tokyo organisers and the Japanese government have made it very clear that the Games are going to go ahead. The famous quote was, with or without Covid, they put in lots of plans to keep people safe, as I've said. Uh, and there is a determination. Uh, and one important issue in all of this is that the IOC has broadcast and sponsorship contracts to honour. Another delay or cancellation would have severe financial ramifications for the organisation. So, yes, they do want the Games to go ahead next year. Alex Kapstick, our sports news correspondent. That news clip was from the Global News Podcast from the BBC. Highly regarded. Everybody should subscribe. See the link from swimmiscuit.org for more information.